Today's video is for my Gmail users out there. Do you find that you are losing track of what needs to be done in your Gmail? Is your inbox so overrun with emails that you lose track of the most important ones? If the answer is yes, then you'll want to watch this video. I'll show you how to use Gmail stars on today's Tuesday Tech Training. Hello and welcome to today's Tuesday Tech Training. My name is Jennifer Stewart. I'm the owner of Gateway Productivity and I'm a tech and productivity trainer. Today I'll show you how to use Gmail stars. For those who aren't familiar, this is a way of marking your emails so that you can come back to them when you have time to work on them. Gmail has provided multiple different types of stars. You can use different colored stars. You can use exclamation points, check marks, question marks, all different kinds of marks as your star. Today, I'll show you how to add those and change which ones you want to use, how to use them in your email, and how to go to a place where you can just see those items. We'll start off in our inbox. And you should already be able to see here on the left-hand side, the stars. Now you may also see another little icon and that's your important flag. We will not be talking about that today, but we will be talking about the stars. You can see you have the option to turn off that important flag as well. Again, that's something that we can cover at another time. Right away in Gmail, you can use stars. You can see I can star this and then I can click it again to change colors and I can keep clicking to bring it back to blank. When you first get into Gmail, it may be one click and it's on and one click and it's off. If you want to use multiple colors, I'll talk in a moment about how to set that up. I just spoke with someone the other day who was having trouble with her inbox. She had so much in there that she was losing track of what she needed to do. What the stars can do for you is mark the things that you need to come back to and you won't necessarily have to scroll to see those different stars on the left. I will show you a way that you can see all of your start items together and not all the rest of the fluff that's sitting there in your inbox. Another scenario would be if you work with an assistant and they are constantly in your email. You can use stars as a way to communicate with each other about what has been done with an email. And you'll see in a minute that there are options like question marks, check marks, and things of that nature that you can use to communicate with other people that are using the same account as you. Now we'll dive into how to make changes to your stars. The first thing you'll do is go to this upper right corner, click on the settings gear, and this first button that says see all settings. Now it will bring us to our settings area and our stars live about midway down. So scroll until you see this nice colorful area. This is your stars. And I will move my picture over so you can see a little bit more information. Actually, I'll even bring it down. As you can see, it says the stars will rotate in the order shown below when you click successively. So you saw me do that. I clicked a few times and it went through like green, yellow, red, those items. That's what it will do. And you can put them in the order that you'd like it to go. So you always want what you would use the most often to be the first one. First, you can see that they have presets. If you only want one star, you don't want all that complication. And I believe this is how it's set up right when you get started. It's either there is a star or there isn't a star. And that is a great way to use it. If that's all you need, then we'll talk some more later about how you can use that. If you want multiple stars, it actually pulls in a few different options here. You can have a yellow, you could have a blue, a check mark, and an exclamation. If you just get really excited about this and you want to use all the stars, it will move them all up for you. But do remember that if you're trying to get to one of these different things, you're going to have to click and click and click and click until you get to the right one. So I probably don't recommend using all of them, but it is an option for you. So the first thing you want to do is think through your situation. What is it that you're using the stars for specifically? 
Are you using it to just keep track of what you need to do? You might only need one or two stars. If you are keeping track of things and trying to prioritize with the stars, you might want to use red, yellow, and green as your stars. And you can see that's how I had it set up in the inbox. If stars don't mean as much to you, you could use the red exclamation, the yellow exclamation, and the green check mark. If you're using the stars for communication with someone else who's in the same inbox, whether it's your assistant or whether it's someone else that's manning the same inbox, you can use these other items such as the I, more information needed maybe, question mark, you need help with that email and knowing how to process, or you can use the other ones we've talked about, the exclamation points, the check mark, and then you can see they have a little forward button um, that could be to forward it to the next part of the process. It really can mean anything that you want. But the main thing here is take a step back before you get all excited about this and add things. Decide what your process is going to be. You can always change that process later, but decide what your process is to begin with and then decide what is going to work best for you in that process. We will stick with that red, yellow, and green idea. For this example, I think I'll use the exclamations and the check mark. So I can drag the rest of them down. I can drag each one, you can see from one section to another. The faster way will probably be to choose maybe four stars, puts a couple of them up there, move down the ones that I don't want, and then move the one up that I still need. And remember what will happen when you click on the star is it first will bring the first one, then the second one, then the third one, then it'll take it back to blank. So most of mine are going to probably be a mid priority, then I might have a high priority, and then I can mark done. And this would be more for an assistant that I have. So we will use this. One thing you want to make sure in Gmail, once you have it set up the way you want here, we need to scroll all the way down and save changes. Otherwise, when you go back to the inbox, it will not have changed. So we're gonna save our changes and you can see it still has my yellow stars that I had in there before. But if I click on a new one, now you see it brings up that yellow priority, red priority, and then the green check mark. And if I click again, it goes back to blank. So I could say that several of these are some priority items. And this one I can say is done for my assistant who's coming in and checking my email. Now that we have our star items selected and you can see, you always see a star even if you are using exclamation points and check marks. Uh, so I'll continue to call it stars, but it does mean any of those different icons that it's given us. Now that we have it set up, we wanna talk about how you can just see those items. You can actually go over here on the left and this second item here is starred. What that does is it brings us just to our starred items or just to the ones that are flagged in certain ways. The power of this is that it allows you to be in charge of your time. Instead of having to scroll through this entire inbox and find the ones that are starred or marked, you can go straight over here and see it all at once. This could be your action folder. That's kind of how you could think of the starred area. And then when you want things to no longer show up in here, especially say this one is already done, I can click it again, it moves to blank, and then you see in just a moment it disappears because we're currently showing the starred items. If it's no longer starred, it's going to disappear. This can be especially important for you as you are working through your items. You can change these if something becomes more important because it's become more time sensitive. I could change this to the red exclamation instead, and that can help me take care of my priorities for the day. If you're someone working with another person in your Gmail, especially an assistant, this could be where both of you work most of the time. 
In your inbox, you could consistently star or mark the emails that have more action to be taken. And then you and your assistant or the other person who is working in the email can come to the start area to see what's going on and what has changed. The last thing I'll show you is how to have your start items show up at the top of your inbox. This is a view that is available in your inbox through Gmail. What you'll do to see that is go to your settings where we were before, the gear in the upper right corner, click on that, and you're actually looking at inbox type. So we're gonna skip that button, we're gonna scroll down, we're gonna look at inbox type. You can see there's a bunch of different options, but starred first is one of those. If I click on starred first, now you can see it groups our starred. So this is like going into that starred box over here and seeing those by themselves first and then seeing everything else. So that's another way you can do it if you want to see your top priority items first and then see everything else. That is a view available in Gmail. But if you just wanna see the starred items so you can focus just on those, then you can still go over here to your start and just see those items. As I said earlier in the video, be sure to think through how you want to use the stars or whatever icons you choose. I would recommend starting simple, whether that's just one star or two stars. See how that works for you. And then you can add more to it later if you want to. Keep in mind that if you use multiples, you'll have to be clicking multiple times to get to the different icons. I hope that this information will help you keep track of those important emails that are coming into you. Have you had a light bulb moment from this training? If so, please let me know in the comments below. You can also put questions in there and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. You can also give the video a thumbs up or you could share it with someone you think could benefit from the information. And don't forget to subscribe by clicking the red button below. Once you do that, you'll see a bell icon. You can click that bell icon if you'd like to receive notifications each time a new video is posted. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.